Hi, this is Laura from the Cambridge Junction and I'm with our apprentices to talk about their experience of the Cambridge Junction Apprenticeship. So firstly, would you like to introduce yourselves? Hello, I'm Abby and I'm Operations Apprentice at Cambridge Junction. Hi, I'm Tim and I'm the Technical Apprentice at the Junction. So what have you enjoyed most about the apprenticeship so far? Working with uh, an amazing team both uh, technicians uh, and actually the, like the office staff and everyone else around you, like the event staff. They're just great people to, to work with really. It's a nice atmosphere. Yeah, so we have, uh, we have quite a big team but it's really nice to uh, work with different people every day. Um, my favourite thing to do is probably work at music events. Uh, as part of the operations apprenticeship, you work across bar, box office, uh, stewarding. My favourite thing to do is uh, shadow the duty manager for events you get to see a different side to events which you don't normally see as a carpenter. Cool. Um, what's the most challenging part of the jobs that you do? Uh, I would say probably the long hours. Um, sometimes you can be here for quite a long time as usually when you attend uh, a show or a gig you're just coming for like four hours in the evening um, but working the event you've got to be here to let the bands in, uh, help them uh, get everything they need and get stuff ready for the show so it can be quite a long day. Mm, I bet. How yeah, about you, Jim? Absolutely. Yeah, the, the long days. We sometimes we're here um, far later than everyone else. Um, we've had like twelve-hour shifts as well, and it's like that. I actually prefer the later shifts. I, I like the twelve to twelves, um, just because it's it's a nicer time. Don't have to wake up so early. We do have early <laughs> early mornings. So at, at eight o'clock starts on a Sunday aren't really ideal, but it's part of the job, and we're going to be happier here. Cool. So what are the perks of working at Cambridge Junction? Um, so you get guest list uh, to shows that you want to attend um, if it's available, which is really good because it means you get to see a lot of shows that you probably wouldn't normally come and see. Um, so I've seen a lot of different events now that if I didn't work here, probably wouldn't have got the chance to see and it just like broadens your horizons of uh, what kind of things you want to come and watch. Yeah, similarly, um, I've come across musicians that I would never have even heard of before. I've got some new music on my phone which is great to listen to uh, and say it's just it's about culture here and that's that's a big part of it and actually getting to embrace that as well as working it is something that I really want to do. That's sort of this is the best perk I can think of really. Brilliant, good. So what kind of things have you seen that you wouldn't have normally seen that you thought oh that's pretty good or I like um... that? So my first show uh, that I duty managed was called The Naked Truth and it was a lady who did a naked lecture about Brexit and that's just something I would never think of that as like a piece of theatre and it's pretty out there but it's just super interesting that like it's a big political statement um, to come and do that and yeah it's just really interesting. How about you Tim? Yeah that's a strange one actually. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah I, I say I don't really have anything in my mind particularly, but but just the range of theatre that I've come across. Uh, I'm, I'm used to amateur music uh, musicals mainly and pantos and stuff like that. To actually come here and see like like the same real theatre, you know, like actually things that someone has worked on for so long, and actually to see that uh, in person, I think that's that's quite cool. And actually, um, there was one I believe she's called Hannah, uh, and she recently did. Uh, an act with eggs. Uh, Hannah Walker, yeah. Yeah, Hannah Walker, yeah. Um, and actually, I got to sit in on one of her rehearsals because I was helping her with um, using a mic and, and seeing if that would help her act. And it's actually just really cool just to sort of sit there with her and, and help her out and actually read lines and everything like that and just see, although it's not the whole process, just see part of the process of actually making a show. Yeah, that's uh, cool. I think it's a cool really environment cool. to, to work yeah. in because, like you say, you do get to see the backstage, behind the scenes workings of whether it's a band setting up 